is Tariq Talk. Your host, Tariq Mendez, takes you on a journey with guests from all around the world. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This is Tariq Talk. All right, guys. Today I'm here with Moses Ross. Moses, how are you today? Good, thank you, guys, for coming by. Yes, uh, we are in booth D25 at Art on Paper Fair. Um, do you want to share with us your Instagram, please? It's uh, Moses underscore Ross. Uh, that's with one S, okay, R-O-S. Perfect. perfect. All right, so do you want to tell me a little bit about the work that you have on display here at the booth? Yeah, um, but before I, I do that, I, I want to talk about uh, Arte Latam. Of course, yeah. The Collective It's a group of uh, uh, artists from Latin America who are living and working in New York okay. and exhibiting their work here. So we came together uh, as a force so that we can represent the Latinos that are working from you know Latin America and the Caribbean yeah. here in New York City. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And how long has uh, Art Latam... How do you pronounce it? Art? Art, uh, uh, Arte Latam. Arte de Latam. Yeah. How long has, uh, has it been around? Arte Latam, the, well, the collective is about, I don't know, maybe six years now. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. But we've been exhibiting together in, you know, uh, well, we were here last year at the okay. Art on Paper, and uh, we've also uh, made a uh, print uh, portfolio together. Nice. And so we're doing collaborative... Uh, efforts whether it be artwork or exhibiting and how many artists is in this booth currently but right now there's seven seven okay and they're all latinos all latinos oh, wow. yeah okay. from different countries yeah love that so now let's go back to your work <laughs> your work is so colorful thank you i have no idea how you create this because it looks so complex so please share with us a little bit okay well uh, i'll tell you for since this is people have to visualize this it's uh work that's on paper it's printed but then it's cut and then assemble into a three-dimensional form. So as you can imagine, a head that has maybe uh, braids on it or, or, or hair, and then on an animal body, meaning a four-legged animal, representing our labor, our work. And from that uh, rep- uh, uh, comes freedom, which is represented by wings. So that's what it is, a head body with an animal, uh, you know, a head with an animal body, uh, and then with wings, so that's what that represents. Freedom I love through that. work. Love that. And h- like, how did you come up with this idea? Because this looks so like innovative and it's so colorful. Well, because uh, I'm a, uh, I'm an architect by trade, and also um, so I, I make sculptures, you know, public sculptures and things like that. But I also am a printmaker. So in this work, what I've done is I've combined the two: printmaking and sculpture. So I'm what I'm. One of my intent is to bring the two-dimensional plane into a three-dimensional realm. So mm-hmm. that's that's what the you know the artistic idea behind this. And I came through through this. So you know, like at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, they have the Assyrian sculptures there, the guardians of, of the city, and all that. So that inspired me to come up with with this idea, but in a more uh, accessible, not so heavy in stone, yeah. but, you know, in paper, something light. And then what happens is, once I make these, like well, these are uh, connected to the base, uh-huh. so you get to see the two-dimensional plane, the three-dimensional plane. But then they wanted to fly, and that's where I made the mobiles. Oh so, wow! Yeah, the mobiles are the same figures that are hanging from a, a, a rod. So there's two, so there's balance. So then you can see here, the breeze is, is moving them around, uh, and the colors of this. Our forensic, forensic, forensic. Forensic? No, no, not forensic. Oh, fluorescent, fluorescent, oh, fluorescent. fluorescent. Yeah, 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 Sorry yeah. about that. Forgive us. <laughs> uh, that word is difficult for all Latinos. I'm Don't just worry. tired. Dude. Fluores- I know. But, I you know, but it's all good. But the colors are like bright orange yeah. and, and yellow. And how did you choose pink. those colors? Well, those colors came because after the pandemic, which was a very dark time in you know in our history, you yeah. know, to bring I wanted to bring something that was uplifting and and joyful to the world. So yeah. that's why I, I came up with those colors. So there's also yellow and there's red and you know green, all kinds of colors, light blue, to really bring up the uh, the spirit, to lift yeah. the spirit. And like, the, how does your creation like process work? Like, where do ideas come to you? My creative process. Um, well, well, as you do your work, right? You're, you you develop something, and then 
what you know you develop something and then you get another idea from that and you just sort of build on your past idea so like originally it was just flat prints yeah but then eventually from the, the what I was drawing the figures and things they wanted to to sort of break out of the of the of the flat plane of another paper into you know the real three-dimensional world yeah so that's how you know just sort of seeing my work and then taking it to the next step as I go along and just developing it and developing into where it oh, wants wow. to go and are you doing this like by freehand, or you have to draw and like pre like create a plan, or is it like a very organic process? Uh, well, no, I, I, I make drawings. Yeah, absolutely, I do a lot of drawings to develop different uh, ideas and see which one works the best. Yeah. So yeah, so I, the drawings are very important. I mean, that's the basis of art is the drawing. Yeah. And then so that that tells you like, okay, well, this doesn't work, so I can change it, or add to it, or take away and develop the, the, the sort of the plan of what it is and then into the final product of yeah. what it is. And how do you keep track of your ideas and inspiration? Do you have like a little journal that you sketch ideas or your notes yeah, well, app? Yeah, I've got tons of journals where I write down ideas and things. Yes, absolutely. Sometimes it's drawing, sometimes it's words uh, or a combination of the two. Just as, you know, the, uh, the ideas come to me, yeah. write them down. Oh wow! And then in your art studio, like when you get in your art studio, how soon are you able to create? Do you need to like sit down, have a coffee, read the newspaper, or can you sit down and get to work right away? How well, is that it's process a, it's for you? Uh, kind of both. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say if I'm going in there and um, you know I'm just wanna, I'm going to come up with something new, then I'll just sort of you know sit and sort of think about different things that, you know in my mind before I get started. Or if I'm, I have a project that's already, you know, uh, ready to go, that then I'll just start working on it and, and just work it through until yeah. it's completed. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. So. And then, I do you have any mediums that you want to tackle on in the future? Like well, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would like to like these are paper, right? But yeah. which is very ephemeral. Uh, but I want to do uh, more permanent sculpture, which I've done, and I've done stuff for the MTA and for the Department of Cultural Affairs, you know, so a lot of work is uh, that I've done. But I would like to return because I've kind of, uh, you know, stepped back a little bit from that, you know, during the pandemic and everything. But I would like to get back into that. Yeah. I mean, like for instance, I'm working on uh, a work for a homage to, or a memorial, I should say, to uh, James Baldwin, yeah. the uh, American writer and civil rights activist. So that's going to be in the in the Bronx coming up. Uh, oh, actually, nice. this month, the twenty first, uh, up by um, he went to he went to Dewey Clinton High School in okay. the Bronx. So it's going to be there. So that's coming up soon, and so just sort of build up on that. You yeah, know? I mean. It, to me, it's as you as you gotta build up and build up and just yeah. you know just keep on building up until you know you just gotta keep on going with that. Love that. You yeah. know, looking at your work, I think like my first idea. I mean, the first like visual I had was like seeing this like in a like a Central Park, like a big large sculpture. I think it would be yeah. so cool. You hear you that know? up there? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because it could be like one of those like interactive. You can like climb on and touch, or like be part of a playground. Yeah, absolutely. It looks really, absolutely. really cool. It's definitely like it has so much colors and it's happy. Right. Know? I mean, I want my work to be uh, joyful yeah. and playful because I want I want that's what I want people to feel from yeah. what I do. I want them to to make them happy because you know that's important we have to be happy i mean you know we work hard so we should you know be uh you know enjoying enjoying life as yeah. well you know and are you, are you an artist that you like to hear people's input and like what do they see in your work or do you just like to admire them like admiring your work from afar no no i i enjoy people's uh perspective yeah because sometimes people see things uh that i never thought of yeah you know? oh really that's interesting you know yeah. so it's definitely good to get feedback from our from from the public and uh like before there was a, there was some people looking at it and it was like multi-generational there was yeah. you know like a grandmother and the oh, mother wow. and, the, and, the, and, the, and the and the young daughter and they're all admiring so it reaches everyone yeah. so that that was beautiful that's so cool. Well, Moses, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for being on the podcast. Thank Can you, you share your Instagram for those listening again, please? Oh, okay. It's Moses underscore Ross, R-O-S, one S. One S, got it. Okay. And we are in booth D25, guys, so please check them out. A bunch of talented design artists, designers, photographers, everything here for the Latino community. 
until we see each other next time, hopefully I'll be climbing a sculpture of yours in the future there at Central Park, right? All right, I look forward to it. All right, that. hopefully. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you for listening to Tariq Talk. Follow Tariq Talk on all social media channels and check out the video interviews online. 